guys, it's Alicia. Now today I'm doing a dual collab and that is with Corey from Cooking with Corey. If you are not familiar with Corey, please go check him out. I will have his info linked above and below. So please go check his channel out. He does the most amazing recipes. They're not only delicious, but he does just beautiful plating. You will not be disappointed if you check out his channel. So what I'm going to be making today is something called spaghetti pie. Now it's kind of a combination of spaghetti, lasagna, casserole. You can call it whatever you want to call it, but I call it delicious. So if you want to see how I make this, just keep watching. And also, like I said before, please go check out the link below to see what Corey's going to be making. So here's what you're going to need to make this. And I've kind of broken it down into what you're going to need for the sauce and what you're going to need for the cheese mixture. So for the sauce, you're going to need one and a half to two pounds of ground beef. I've got two pounds here. Then you're gonna need a quart of spaghetti sauce. You can use homemade, you can use canned, you can use whatever it is that you wanna use. Here I've got a medium onion chopped, a green pepper chopped, little minced garlic, little ground pepper, and then here is two tablespoons oregano and two teaspoons granulated sugar. For the cheese mixture, you're gonna need you're gonna need about 12 ounces of shredded mozzarella cheese, about 16 ounces of cottage cheese, half cup Parmesan cheese, one beaten egg, and about two tablespoons butter. Then you're also gonna need about 16 ounces of spaghetti. And that is all you need to make this. So first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350. And then over here, I've got a large pot of water that I'm bringing to a boil for my spaghetti. And then here I have a large frying pan on medium high heat. I went ahead and put a little olive oil in there just because I'm using a really lean meat. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't bother, but I don't want it to stick to the bottom of this pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my meat. And I'm gonna just start breaking this up. And again, if you wanna use less meat than this, you absolutely can. I just like it a little, little meatier. And then I'm gonna add a little fresh ground pepper to this. You can also use salt if you want. Uh, I don't think it, it's necessary, but that's kind of up to your own, your own taster. So I'm gonna add a little pepper in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dump in my green pepper and my onions. And I'm gonna just cook all this until the meat is done and the veggies have softened. And my water's ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump in my spaghetti. Now, I like to make homemade noodles. They are delicious, but a lot of times it's just a lot easier. I can't break these, <laughs> here we go, <laughs> to go with the store-bought. But I do highly recommend making your own pasta because it is just delicious. So now I'm gonna just let that cook according to the instructions on the back of the box. And then I'm gonna start working on my cheese mixture. So for the cheese mixture, all you're gonna do is take your mozzarella, your cottage cheese, your Parmesan, and then you're gonna just mix those together really well. And I probably should have got a little bigger bowl, but I'm gonna make it work. Okay, I've got that mixed together. Now I'm gonna add in my egg and my butter. And then I'm gonna just mix this all together. I've got this all mixed together. Now I'm gonna just set it aside until I am ready for it. My pasta is al dente at this point, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it and drain it and set it aside. And my meat is nice and browned and my veggies are softened. So now I'm gonna add a couple teaspoons of garlic. And I'm gonna just let this cook in here for probably another minute or so. I let that garlic cook for about a minute, so now I'm gonna add in my oregano and sugar. Give that a stir. 
And then I'm gonna add in my pasta sauce. And mix that up real well. I've got that all stirred together. Now I'm gonna just let it sit for a couple minutes and simmer. I have a 13 by nine pan here and I went ahead and just sprayed it with a little bit of cooking spray just so everything doesn't stick. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take half of my spaghetti and I'm gonna just layer it on the bottom of this. And now that I've got that on there, I'm gonna take half of my cheese mixture and I'm gonna kinda just dot this on here. There's not a real good way to spread it on there, so I kinda just plop it on there. And yes, my hands are clean. And now that I've got half of that cheese mixture on there, I'm gonna start putting half of the meat mixture on top of the cheese. And now I'm gonna just repeat the process with the remaining spaghetti, cheese mixture, and meat mixture. Okay. I've got everything all layered in here. Now, I have decided I'm gonna go ahead and add a little cheese to the top of this too, just because you can never have too much cheese, in my opinion. I don't always do this, but I have a little extra mozzarella, so I figured, why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sprinkle some mozzarella on the top here. Just for a little more cheesy goodness. because this is by no means healthy anyway, so why pretend? And then I'm gonna also put a little bit more Parmesan on the top too. And again, you don't have to do this. I don't always do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it this time. Okay, I got the cheese on there. Now this bad boy is ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna put it in for just about 30 minutes. That's probably all it's gonna take to get everything heated all the way through, get this cheese nice and melted. And the only thing that wasn't cooked before was the cheese mixture with the egg. So 30 minutes should definitely be enough to get this done. And what it is, I will bring you back. It has been 30 minutes and this is done. So I went ahead and pulled it. As you can see, the cheese is all nice and melted and it just smells amazing. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit before I get into it, but when I do cut into it, I will come back and show you. And here it is. This spaghetti pie is definitely one of my favorite recipes. I love the twist on a classic comfort food of spaghetti with the layering of the spaghetti and the cheese and the meat sauce. It's just so delicious and really so easy to make too. It is perfect for guests because it makes so much and it's just a hearty, delicious meal. It's not only great for adults, kids love it too, and it is one of my go-tos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please go check out Corey's and thanks again to Corey for doing this collab with me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.